Well, it's a name emblazoned on the top of an entrance to the State House General Hooker Entrance. Sounds potentially offensive, but it's really just honoring a Civil War general. In the last minute tonight, David Robichaud tells us that one state rep still wants that name gone. The sign has been up for decades. General Hooker Entrance has made some people chuckle, like these California tourists. We laughed, but we weren't offended. Exactly. It's funny. It's yeah. The word hooker is funny. It's but it's no joke to State Senator Michelle Dubois, who wants the sign changed or taken down. She's posted about it on Twitter this morning using the hashtag MeToo. Female staffers don't use that entrance because the sign is offensive to them. And male state representatives feel uncomfortable telling their constituents to come on through the general hooker entrance. There's a myth that the slang term hooker that refers to prostitutes originated with Civil War General Joseph Hooker, who was born in Hadley, Mass. His statue is outside the hooker entrance to the State House. That's uh, General Joseph Hooker while he was a Civil War soldier. But Mass Historical Society librarian and Peter Drummy says the word predated the Civil War. He did, however, say General Hooker had an unsavory crowd with the name Hooker's division. They were really talking about the camp followers, the prostitutes, and other um, shady characters hanging around his headquarters. Representative Dubois won't file a bill to change the name, but she hopes her fellow lawmakers will sign off on it. At the State House, David Robichaud, WBZ News.